try again. <laughs> We're live! Smile. We're live! Turn this off. Turn your webcam down turn to down. 480. Turn your webcam down to 480. Oh, it, it might be pumping out too much. Oh, Better? Maybe. Fortunately, this isn't the launch. This is just our little demo. Okay, hey everyone. We're live. How you doing, Louis? Yeah, good. Um, how many people we got with us? 25 at the moment, 26. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the stream. <clears throat> What's on the agenda, Cal? Well, other than uh, drinking beer. Very exciting today. This is the launch of the second single from my new album, Songs and Stories, which is, um, it's a big band track. It uh, pretty heavily features the uh, the trumpet section, which is why I brought um, Louis on today to have a bit of a chat about it. Um, it's called You in the, the Night trumpet. and the Music. Everyone loves the trumpet. <laughs> now, um, the comment section of the Facebook video, you can uh, post uh, questions or comments or suggestions or whatever, whenever you like. Um, and you'll be able to, you'll be able to, uh, ask us things should you wish. But, um, yeah, so before we listen to the track, I thought we'd just have a little chat about, um, the process so far and, um, sort of exactly what we've been doing over the past two years in the making of this album. Mm -hmm. So I guess, um, Louis was, uh, Lou is one of the first people I spoke to about it because, as you know, well, as you probably don't know, um, Lou and I make quite a lot of music together. Um, I do a lot. I do all the arranging, and Louis does everything else, um, <laughs> which is uh, substantially more work than you might think. Um, but Louis, why don't you tell them a bit about what goes into mixing and the kind of non-writing, non-recording side of uh, huge undertaking like this well uh good question we uh i don't know cal cal kind of came up with the tracks and he sent them all through i think i have them over there somewhere still nice in score form and um <clears throat> then we kind of conceptualized exactly how these tracks were going to be done where we were going to record different parts say some of it was recorded in our studio in wembley and then uh the vast majority of the orchestra was recorded in um Air lindhurst uh, out in Hampstead, beautiful place. So yeah, we we kind of 
talked about how we were going to do that. And then um, we got to recording some guide things. We put some click tracks down. We got everything so that we could be able to sync it all up together. And then we, uh, yeah, we got some guide rhythm section down, recorded a lot of the horn parts. Uh, and then when we got that, got to that special day, we went over to air and we recorded all these beautiful string players and, um, and all the amazing orchestral brass and woodwind. So uh, once we had all of that, uh, that kind of got all dumped over to me and I had to sift through all the takes, figure out exactly what we wanted to have. And then once I got everything in a position where it was edit, you know, edited in a, in a space that we thought we could start mixing, we uh, called uh, Claire to come in, the vocalist for the record, Claire Martin. And she came over to our studio and we spent a couple of days uh, kind of getting exactly what we wanted. Um, and she was really happy and we were really happy and uh, we think it sounds awesome. Uh, I spent then you know quite a long time really quite closely editing the mix to exactly what we wanted and uh, once we got exactly what we wanted everyone was happy again cal was happy i was happy claire was happy the record was the record label was happy we uh we took it over to la to get mastered uh, by fantastic mastering engineer gavin lurson Shout out to Gavin, who won't be watching right now, but uh, <laughs> but uh, shout out to Gavin Lurson for one of the most educational experiences of my life. We went over to L.A. We didn't think we were actually going to master it in L.A., but it, it felt like the right thing to do um, at the time. So we got in touch and Jamie Tate got us in touch with Gavin Lurson. Uh, Gavin has done, you know, maybe, I don't know making this up right now but say in the region of 500 movies he mastered all the tracks on game of thrones and all those types of things so it was an amazing experience for both of us to spend the entire day with him and kind of get to hear all this stuff on these incredible speakers and then um and then after that it was it was kind of done we spent the rest of the trip eating sushi really but um yep. yeah it was a really 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 cool process and i'm very very proud of this project um it's probably the most mature thing i've ever done in my life um <laughs> so uh including, uh, getting hope, married. <laughs> including getting married but i hope uh, i hope you guys enjoy it it's kind of a mix sort of a mix up of of all that sort of what you would consider to be expensive music um yeah. and um and it's it's a pretty cool thing to be involved with or at least you know so thank you cal for having me um but uh yeah hope you enjoy it. i hope that that kind of gives you a bit of a background of as to how we how we get these things done at least yeah. hmm. so um so people watching have some idea of how long this has taken um i started working on the first arrangement which was the first single i got along without you very well um back in uh, about April 2018. Um, yeah, and I remember. Yeah, and I wrote the rest of it. This was this was just after I'd spoken to Claire and got her on board, but nobody else had really been involved at this stage. Um, I wrote the rest of the music over about the next six months, on and off, kind of between between other jobs. When you know, back when we all still had jobs um, to do, and uh, <laughs> and. Uh, in <clears throat> i think it was in february we recorded the big band and then in yeah. march we recorded the um we recorded the uh, orchestra. orchestra so it was 2019 right 2019 march, march february and march 2019 so then there's been a whole year between or even more than a year between then and now to get all the rest of the stuff done which includes the mix it includes recording the soloists um, who are amazing, Freddie Gavita, Nadim Temuri, um, and as you're about to hear on this track, Ryan Quigley. Um, oh, yeah. And, you know, it includes all that kind of faffing about that you never expect to take nearly as long, but always does. So, yeah. anyway, why don't we um, have a listen to the track? Let's do this. Let's do this. So, um, how are you streaming this? I've got it on the thing. You will see it pop up in the window now. Here we go. So um, I'm sure you'll be interested um, <laughs> in this, but the uh, the band is it's just a big band, this track. Um, so standard uh, five saxes, four trumpets, four trombones, piano, bass, drums, percussion, guitar. And um, the rhythm section on this track was recorded by the amazing Jamie Tate in Los Angeles, um, with the horns being recorded by us here in London. 
Yes. So anyway, I hope you enjoy it. Here we go. And the featured soloist, Ryan Quigley. Ryan. Ah. They're having streaming concerns. They're having streaming concerns. Bear with us, everyone. Bear with us. <laughs> Technology. Is it, is... to, I'm going to wait for it to buffer a bit and then we'll start it again, eh? Two and a half minutes. Did it, did, is it... I wonder where the host, whether it's you being a host or it whether it be. is. Let's try now. <laughs> Are you getting anything? I'm getting it. Are you not getting it? No. Right. Let me try a different host. This um, this was bound to happen, wasn't it? <laughs> we even did a trial run. We did do a trial run, and it worked okay. Maybe more people use the internet at 8 p.m. Who knows? Yeah, possibly. Um, so um, talk to me about the trumpet section. That's the trumpet section? The trumpets are the best. Um, uh, the trumpet section for this record. Oh, hello, Dad. <laughs> Uh, yeah, well, I, I wasn't getting it. So anyway, um, <laughs> trumpets, uh, it was, uh, on the record, it was, uh, me, um, Tom Walsh, and we were splitting the leads, uh, George Hogg and James Davison. And, oh, and, um, I'm just trialing something. He's giving it a go. And, uh, and they're all the best. And uh, good mates. Ah, Mike ah, Davis hello. has heard hello. Hello, everyone. Um, <clears throat> and that's and... Nadia. Shout out to Nadia who did the um, who did the cover art and did yes. the video and did my website and is a general um, internet and technology whiz, unlike apparently us. <laughs> <laughs> well, they can hear it and I couldn't hear it. Everyone I else couldn't hear it. I couldn't you know hear what? it either. But, but I've let's... heard it so much. I don't even need to hear it. <laughs> Let's just assume that it's okay and go for it. And if it's not okay, then well, whatever. Here yeah. we go. You go on Spotify. Anything? You're hearing it, Louis. I am. It's okay. It's okay. You and the night and the music Fill me with flaming desire Setting my being completely on fire You and the night and the music Thrill me but will we be one After the night and the music are done Right I know what we're going to do. We're going to wait until the whole thing is loaded into the client, and then we're going to play it, and we're going to talk about the trumpet section in the meantime. Let's keep talking about the trumpets. So, yeah, it's Tom Walsh, George Hogg, and James Davison. Uh, James has got some beautiful little harmony mute bits and bobs on the uh, on the record, and, uh, and Tom plays some fantastic lead trumpet uh, on a couple of other tracks. I don't know. Where did we know them all from? Nigel. It was Nigel, really, yes. Uh, Louis and Except I. Met... George. L who, George, who George didn't ever do Nigel, did he? But um, the rest no. of us did. Yeah. Louis and I met in the National Youth Jazz Orchestra, which is um, it, it's probably Britain's kind of best known way Premier. to play this sort of music. And um, both Tom and James. And Louis, and pretty much every single other trumpet player on the on the in the country, except for Mike, who's in the chat, um, did that. <laughs> um, and it's a it's a fantastic place to go and learn because um, you're surrounded by loads of other people who are just amazingly talented. Mm. Sebastian, hello. Uh, does Tom play the solo? No, the, the solo is actually, in fact, played by Ryan Quigley from Glasgow, Glasgow. or Derry. Yes. Um, yeah, forward. either one. Uh, yeah, Ryan Quigley. Um, he can play. He can play. 
um yeah so ryan came into the studio and uh and just smashed out solo and we were like cool we're done here <laughs> pretty much yeah we're yeah. very we're very very fortunate to have some of the best trumpet players in the world in london between ryan tom louis andy greenwood all these other people yeah it's a it's a pretty cool place to be for trumpet players i would say but um yeah ryan ryan can certainly play ryan didn't do any of the section stuff all the section stuff was done by yeah me tom george and james mm -hmm. and um there's two soloists though neither of whom are in the section one of whom is ryan and the other is freddie gavita who plays at the most beautiful flugelhorn solo on trumpet solo trumpets trumpet it was a trumpet in the end wasn't it it I was going to be flugel, flugel and then and then we said we said no um What's well, next for you guys? I'm so glad Kay has asked this question that I definitely didn't ask her to ask for us. <laughs> <laughs> well, funny you should ask that. <laughs> but we're currently working on these um, these play-along books. Um, yes. Louis, Louis has been putting the finishing touches on one of the tracks today, which um, is a solo feature that is um, called Well Endowed, which is almost an anagram of his surname. Um, <laughs> and nothing else mm -hmm. the idea is that we're going to release books for trumpets saxes and trombones um of the lead parts from the big band and you can hear the big band with and without the lead part um and then play along um also we'll probably do the lower down parts as well uh at some later date um, yeah. so you can so you can have something to practice to and something to play with during this next however long it is until we're all out of quarantine and if there's something uh there's there's potentially something for the rhythm section as well there will um, be yeah we'll get some uh, we'll get some drum stuff out for all you drummers of mm -hmm. which i'm sure there aren't that many of watching the stream but um Perhaps there should not. be um so yeah uh it's going to be a pretty cool project there's still quite a lot of work for for me to do on my end but um mm -hmm. you know it's one of those it's kind of funny time just uh in isolation and then you well then you want to sort of get some stuff done and then you think oh, i need to go to my studio and you can't do it there you try and get it done here it's one of those things but it will be out and it's going to be really great and we have some really big ideas uh oh, yes. coming after that which we cannot share with you right now no. but um uh it should make getting these play-alongs and playing them and working with them much 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 more accessible to many more people that's all i'll say that's what we hope and yes. um in terms of what i'm doing obviously i've already done all the writing for the first set of play along books um as you kind of have to do the writing before you can do the mixing for obvious reasons so i'm doing the writing for the next project which is yes. um, which i'm not going to tell you exactly what it is because that would be um that would be telling um but what i will we say can, yeah Hmm. We can okay, tell. Okay. Maybe we can tell them that there's potentially a new album on its way hmm. from the, from the okay. Louis Dowdwell big band. But should we tell? Should we? We aren't that close yet. <laughs> no, we're we're a, we're a, we're a, we're a ways off. In the we preliminary them, stages. Um, I've been working on a tune um, today from the film Apocalypse Now. Yes, he he has actually a hint. Mm -hmm. That's your a hint. hint. That's your hint. There you go, and it's Stay not up. and it's not film music. <laughs> nope. nope. Um, no. It's going to be cool yeah. though. It's going to be. I think it's going to be very cool. Um, we've got some interesting things planned, and of course, the other thing I've been doing is um, playing. Well, we've both been playing quite a lot of computer games. Yeah, and Halo 2 got remastered, uh, or at least released on the Master Chief Collection a couple of days ago. So I can't say I've been doing anything other than that. Fair. Um, but um, well, we went to Costco today, got some good lamb. There is that, of course. That's good. I've been How would have gone on the back. upload? We are about 70% of the way there. So we'll be there and we'll be ready to play in a minute and a bit. <laughs> It's only a two-minute, two 50-second I know, it's hilarious, isn't it? 
I, I think next time I'm just going to upload it to YouTube and not do that, not try and mirror it from their site because that's obviously what's not working. Yeah, but we did have a couple of issues with the YouTube things. True. To all of our new listeners, hello, welcome. This is our launch stream, which was supposed to be slick and rehearsed, which it was, <laughs> um, to listen to Callum's uh second single from his new album songs and stories which is being released Callum, on the 19th of june on the 19th of june um sorry i gave up all um responsibilities after the master was done so i i now know it's coming out on the 19th of june <laughs> but the uh but there are now two singles out on spotify i get along without you very well and this new one which came out today which we are trying to listen to as a group um, i'll tell you what let's listen to this one while we're waiting yeah this one's very nice it's very different though it's very different i get along there are 82 musicians on the album. Of course. Hey, Steve. Hey, Steve. Except when soft rains fall and drip from leaves and drip from leaves, then I recall the thrill of being sheltered in your arms. Making you wait. <laughs> Very well. Let's get the drop now. I've forgotten you just like I should. Of course I have. Except to hear your name. Someone's laugh that is the same Yes, I've forgotten you just like I should What a girl It's Richard what Watkins on French horn am I To think my breaking heart could kid the moon Should I phone once more? No, it's best that I stick to my tune. I get along without you very well. Of course I do. Except Back. perhaps in spring But I should never think of spring For that would surely break my heart in two
Steve. Hey, Steve Lee. I do. Except perhaps in spring. But I should never think of spring. For that would surely break my heart in two. There we go. Yeah, Cal. Great riding, man. <laughs> Heard that one love, a few times. Love your American accent. How many times <laughs> have we listened to that? Quite a few times, but it's been Quite nice. A we've had a, we've had a nice little uh, nice little break from it for, uh, since January. From, yes. Uh, uh, from when it got all done, and um, and now it's nice to hear it all again on uh, on probably my worst set of headphones. But these are my sure. these are my gaming streaming headphones, so <laughs> it's gonna have to be. Beggars can't be choosers. How right, are we looking on the we're, actual we're gonna, thing? We're going to try the actual thing now. Here we go, guys. We're going to do it. It's going to happen. <laughs> Is it playing? I don't know. Is it playing? Oh, man. This app is letting us down. This app is really letting us down, isn't it? I'm gonna. I'm actually just gonna sign into Facebook. Apparently, and, it's actually playing. Is it? Okay. Well, we're just gonna press play, and even though it's not sounding like it's playing to us, hopefully, it's gonna be playing. I'm in Facebook checking. No, they can't hear anything. Oh, damn it! No. No. This is insane. What, not even now? No, it's right. not. Right. We're going we're gonna to start it again then. I'm going to try refreshing the page. Is there any way that I can actually host this? Is it possible? I don't know. Probably not. comment section is just a, a sea of no's. Yes, it is. I've got an idea. We're supposed to be millennials. We're supposed to know what to do in these situations, Callum. Yes, I know. But... Here. My hands are off the keyboard. <laughs> Clearly, we're incompetent. Um, I've got an idea, though. Oh, um, apparently a village in Andalusia, they can hear it. Oh. Sing for us. It only works in certain parts of the world, apparently. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, come on. All right, I've got a better idea. Sing for us. You and the night and the music. <laughs> <laughs> yes. You don't want to hear that. We definitely me. don't want to hear that. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Right, I'm, I've got a better idea. I'm going to upload it to YouTube and then I'm going to mirror it from there. Because my connection is very fast, this shouldn't take very long. In fact, it's going to take 13 seconds. If your connection has had anything to do with the stream so far, Callum, it has not proved to be very fast. I, I don't think my connect. I don't think the problem is my connection here. I think the problem is this. Um, you were my hairdresser? Or Callum's? Callum's must be Callum's. Where's Andalusia? Is it near Australia? Andalusia's in Spain. All oh, right, I don't know where that is. Sorry. In an autonomous community in the peninsula of Spain. Very nice. It would be nice to be in Spain right now. It would be lovely to be in Spain right now and not. Um, 
I think it's Kurt sabotaging you lot. <laughs> hey, Leo, be. how you doing, man? i got to say, um, if there are any of my fans out there, um, I must just give a quick shout-out to Leo Huang, um, who who let me on to the potential... Uh, the- Someone stole my identity briefly on on Reddit to try and um, get his main account back from uh, from the Trumpet subreddit, and Leo made it very clear to me that uh, that someone was doing this. So I uh, so I owe him my identity. Um, your, your internet identity. And my internet identity is owed to Leo. Trying to figure out whether it was me who was. Uh, who was talking on Reddit? It, it in fact wasn't. So thank you. Hey Ben, how you doing, man? Oh hey Ben. Right now I've uploaded it to YouTube. Let's try again. This is more promising. Yes, it is. Let's not jinx it, though. You and the night and the music Fill me with flaming desire <laughs> Setting my being completely Hi, Lawrence. on fire You and the night and the music Thrill me, but will we be one? After the night and the music Hi right, Chris Hi hey, Chris Until the daylight of dawn and daylight Ah, oh, it's Julian Ross Julian Ross is my sixth form music teacher Morning will come without warning <laughs> Hi Julian Say how that is Yes, we must live for the moment Love till the moment is true Love Evans Working for you, Cal? Yes. Oh. We made it through, I think. I missed it. You missed I, it? I missed it. It's not just before the high note. <laughs> I d- it definitely didn't stop for me. Hopefully, oh, well, um... Tell us if you heard the whole track, guys. Uh, yeah, if, if you if, did, if the uh, track stops, please do tell us. We, we listened to it in a. In a, uh, how do I, sorry, we're waiting for the, uh, yeah, they lost it. They lost it. They lost it? They lost it just before the double D. Oh. I'm being told. Okay, well. All of it. Apparently they're not. Oh, it's back on. Okay, ignore my father. Um, It's uh, great. You got it all. I didn't, but 
I hope you enjoyed the track. <laughs> Weird. How come some people got it and some people didn't? Oh, well, whatever. I think it's just your co-host who didn't get it. All right. My mother my mother got it. Yeah, the, the, I think they got it all. I think. Great. <laughs> Finally. Yeah. What happened yes. to 35 minutes after the beginning of the stream? Well, that is, um, <laughs> thank you for your patience. Um, we uh, We do appreciate it. We're getting um, there with this uh, this whole technology. All thing. this technology awesome. stuff. Yes, I did say it all played just after it finished. Brilliant. Well, I didn't hear it, so. Well, well, you've heard it before. I've heard it before. I know how it goes. Um, yes. Cool, fantastic! What a great chart, Cal. Yeah, well, thank and, you. Um, what a great playing. The uh, yeah, the rhythm section is. Is, is pretty it's pretty banging on that track i think mm. and uh, and ryan sounds amazing as was we pointed should... out to us in the in the in the comment section just there we should talk about the rhythm section actually with the rhythm section was we, we were we had a great pleasure on this album of working with three of well with three different rhythm sections actually and some of the best people um in the business on the kind of more um sweet beautiful stuff you had the sweet beautiful lauren zunglas on the base there he is Kelton. where is he is he in the chat yeah he's been in the chat a little bit lawrence oh, good yeah we the, yeah we had lawrence unglis we had matt skelton um we had um tommy emerton and rob baron in fact we didn't have tommy on the sweet beautiful stuff there's no guitar on those um so we had <laughs> rob baron um then um on the kind of big bandy stuff jeremy brown played the upright bass um Lawrence was um, Lawrence was playing the bowed bass. He's a man of very many talents. Lawrence, he plays um, <laughs> lurking, <laughs> lurking, very good. He plays um, he plays all the basses. Anything, anything from uh, electric bass, grungy stuff to symphony orchestra principal bass, and it's quite amazing. And then, but not track, tuba, not tuba. So it's not good enough. <laughs> uh, that track we recorded in um, in. Well, Jamie Tate, the drummer, um, recorded it with um, David Hughes, the bass player, and Joey DeLeon, the percussionist, in Los Angeles. So that's kind of great. Very quite LA, quite yeah. LA Latin. Indeed, which is it was sort of we were after. My kind of my headspace for that was sort of a slightly hipper version of a sort of Michael Bublé sway. So that's the. <laughs> As we've That's been commented at Tito, Tito Rodriguez Jr. is in the chat. Hey Tito, oh, how you doing, man? And he's been uh, com complimenting not us, but the rhythm section on their nice Latin groove. So ah, good. coming from you, thank you. Indeed. Um so a couple of questions here. Leo, hey man, uh will it be available on Spotify? It is on Spotify as we speak, I believe. Indeed, I do yes. not have Spotify, so I would not know, but I presume it is because everyone else has it in the world. Mm -hmm. um, it is on Spotify and it is also on Apple Music and it's on all those other hateful streaming services. Um you can also buy it on iTunes and on Amazon Music at the moment. Um yep. the entire album It's will be also on Play Music. It is on Play yep, Music. It's I on Google check. as well. Oh hey Rick. Yep. Um, the album is releasing 19th of June, the full the full thing. Uh, it's releasing in digital, where you can get it on iTunes and Amazon and Google Play and so forth. Um, it's releasing to stream on the hateful streamers. It's uh, releasing to buy on um, in CD format and also very excitingly in vinyl format. Um, da, da, da. First time I've ever done anything on vinyl, so that's kind of nice. Apparently. Um, Apparently, vinyls are better sellers than CDs nowadays, though. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me. Which is... Hey, so Steve, Steve, Steve Lees is from Essex, I believe, because I went to go and see him um, to do a little masterclass with him. He's asking where do we get signed copies of the CD, Callum? Well, um, to, to answer that question, um, right now, nowhere, um, <laughs> because the, the CD doesn't actually exist yet. But um, once it's printed, which will be in a couple of weeks i'll be getting a box here and you can order them directly from me and i will very happily sign them for you if you um want me to yeah and maybe uh we'll i'll have a chat with cal but maybe when, once the whole album comes out maybe we can do a maybe we can do a maybe an hour and a half stream and have a little listen to the whole thing at some point and yeah uh, that'd be lovely give you an opportunity to uh we can explain all of this stuff to everyone again 
uh, when the whole thing is available and people's memories are not, uh, well, they are there. Um, but uh, uh, Steve Procopus, uh, that is very good name. Copus. Thanks, Copus. Steve Procopus from or Pro, uh, yeah Procopus, uh, Amazon USA to yeah Amazon Music yes. USA. Right, yeah. But yes. uh, for physical copies, they're going to have to go direct to you, Cal? I don't know. I think that, that I, I don't really understand how the distribution's working overseas. It, I believe it is working overseas, though. So um, I think it, it, it a lot of this is coronavirus dependent. Um, the original plan was for the physical distribution to launch everywhere at the same time. And I believe that some of that might be a little delayed now, but hopefully not too delayed. Yeah. So, yes, but you will be able to get physical copies in the U.S. as well. Yes. Very exciting. When Isolation lifts, will you be doing a gig premiering the album? Well, OG Callum. Yes, we will. We are doing on the anniversary of the album launch. Um, unfortunately, it was supposed to be the day of the album launch, but of course it had to be cancelled. So, Another date taken um, out of the diary. Yep. Sure um, Callum. We, um, <laughs> we will be... Thank you, Nadia. I appreciate your um, your answering the questions that I'm too incompetent to answer. Uh, <laughs> Get prepared. Yes, uh, on the date of the anniversary of the album release, uh, that is the 19th of June, 2021, we're going to the Cadogan Hall in uh, central London in Sloan Square, um, and we'll be playing it with the full orchestra. Yes. Which is pretty cool. Very, very exciting. Playing the very whole exciting. album plus another couple of tunes that I've arranged um, and something that I haven't written yet uh, with the whole orchestra and um, with with um, various special guests, super surprise special guests who will be um, decided upon nearer the time. Yeah. Very, very exciting. It's a shame it didn't happen this year, really, but um, it is, nothing, but... nothing's happening this year. So, no. Um, you know, it's in the diary. Hey, Ben. What's going on, man? Um, yeah. So that's the track. Maybe what we should do is, uh, what do you reckon, Cal? If you're all cool, maybe we should play the track out one more time for let's everyone. Play, let's then... play the track out one more time now. Now that we know how it works, and then we can, uh, then we then we can leave leave you guys to your evening. And if you are in Mississippi, like Steve, um, your afternoon, your afternoon. Avoid uh, the alligators. Uh, yeah, exactly. Um, hey, did you hear that story about the alligator the other day? No. It was awful, um, but it was quite funny. Um, it was in Florida, and a woman got um, killed by an alligator. But as she was being dragged, on, uh, dragged down to the river by the alligator, she said, well, I won't be doing this again. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome we to comedy. It's been a great... <laughs> It's been a great <laughs> evening, guys. It's true. And, uh, uh, it's not comedy. It's true. It's a true story. Yeah, I spread it on the BBC, so it must be true. <laughs> so okay. we'll, uh, we'll, we'll, <laughs> God, what a way to end. Um, uh, we will speak to you all very, very soon. And, Indeed. Uh, have a lovely, lovely evening. And thank you for tuning in and chiming in where you have done. Thank you very much. And here comes the track one more time. Bye, 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 bye.
love till the moment is due. After the night and the music die, will I have you? Thank you for watching, everyone. Thanks, everyone. I've got lots and lots of music still going on somewhere. <laughs> I'm going to be back at some point next week talking to Pete Long, who is um, he's our boss in the Ronnie Scott's Jazz Orchestra. He played contrabass clarinet on this record, believe it or not, which apparently is an instrument, which I found out <laughs> before I wrote the charts. Um, and um, until then, uh, we'll uh, we'll see you soon. Thanks Bye -bye. a lot. Bye-bye.